Welcome to Villa Sea Breeze. We're in the southwest corner of the island. Just look over my shoulder there, Tim. That says Vedra. Some people believe it has this mystical, magical feel. I don't know about all of that. I do know is it's the most beautiful, beautiful view. Um, some people regard this as having the best position to come watch the sunset in Ibiza. It's got Calacarbo Beach. As we go out of the front gates, sliding electric gates, we walk down the road here, literally 50, maybe 80 yards, and there's a pathway that leads down to Calacarbo Beach. What a great location. It's an easy walk as well. The villa, we've got seven bedroom suites, all most of which are on the ground floor, one on the top floor. There's a beautiful central courtyard area we'll show you in a minute. There are three bedrooms at the back of the courtyard. There are three bedrooms on this side of the courtyard. Big open plan living areas, modern luxury with a traditional feel. Let's get going with a full tour. So we've come in, electric double gates, shingle stone driveway that Tim's showing you there, lots of parking. We've got a large semi-covered carport area here with a Land Rover just that defines how much space there is. These great big double gates here, they open into the courtyard, which we're gonna show you from the inside. Nice landscape grounds, nicely planted grounds. Come on into the villa, Tim. Come on in, Tim, this is a real treat. This property was designed and developed by a celebrated Danish architect. The interior is beautiful. There's lots of interior design features. I'm just gonna show you the accommodation. So follow me through here. We've got this lovely tiled flooring. We've got a real mix of, of modern plus traditional materials. Look at this original stone wall here, Tim. Um, we've got the original archway stone walls and then we've got this outer skin of low profile modern double glazing. It's, it, it's a beautiful balance. This big open plan living space. I hope you're picking this up on the camera. Big sets of sliding doors that open out onto the main terrace. We'll show you in a second. There's, a, a, there's lots of alternative dining spaces. We've got this indoor table here. We've got big cupboards. We've got a big fitted kitchen with all the appliances you need, the central island unit. And then come through the main sliding door here, Tim. This is a kind of seamless and level route through to the terrace. Big main outdoor, indoor dining area. This is all a big covered terrace, but it's open. It's seamless. There's the infinity pool and lots of space for sunbathing. I'm gonna take you down into the inner corridor now to show you some of the first bedrooms, but just, just spin to your left slightly there. This is a glazed panel, but you can see the guys busy at work here preparing the courtyard for the summer. I've not seen a feature like this in Ibiza before. This is beautiful. We've got the Bourganvillea in flower here. We've got the big day bed. We've got a lovely, it's got to be a couple of hundred years old, that olive tree in the middle there. We've got some nice grass, some really nice planted areas. And we've got three bedrooms on the other side of that courtyard, all en suite with an additional outdoor shower. We've got two bedrooms down this section. And there's another bedroom just where we came in through the entrance and the seventh up on the top floor. Follow me down here, Tim. This is the only bedroom without the ensuite. Have a quick look in there to your right, then quickly to your left, there's a shower room that serves that bathroom. This is the room that the current owners use as the master suite down here. If you follow me, Tim, nice and quickly, we've got this, again, this sort of decorative theme that runs throughout this property. I think it's beautiful. We've got a, an exposed stone wall here, double glazed doors to the rear elevation, access onto the main terrace, and that stunning Esved review. We've got some wardrobes here. We've got a, a feature shower um, behind this metal panel, and then the ensuite toilet and wash basin back where we came in. Tim stood in the main open plan living area here, so I'm now gonna take you into the courtyard. Follow me this way, Tim. This is just stunning. It helps the fact that it's a beautiful day, but we get lots of these. So remember what I said earlier, we've got this lovely old olive tree here. I don't know, maybe a couple of hundred years old. It's beautiful. We've got this grass area, well-tended grass area. We've got some nice mature planting, this big pergola type structure here. And then we've got three more ensuite rooms behind me here on the opposite side of the courtyard. But don't be concerned, you're not gonna be separated from the rest of the group because everything is within this courtyard wall. And if you just spin right round quickly there, Tim, you'll see these beautiful big strap double gates, which we highlighted back when we were on the driveway. So three bedrooms on this section, all en suite, plus an outdoor shower. Tim's just passing the first bedroom on the left. They're all good sized doubles. Follow me down here, be careful of these chairs, Tim. So this is the central bedroom here, glazed double doors giving you access. I'm gonna run down here and we've got the larger of the three bedrooms at this end. Again, double glazed, double doors. There's a real fun feature off this room actually. Again, we've got a young olive tree here. 
glazed window and door system with an outdoor shower, a nice sort of Indonesian wood panelling highlighting that. That outdoor shower is also accessed from the middle bedroom, but they've all got their own individual en suites as well. That's just an additional feature. Follow me this way, Tim, and look at the size of these en suite shower rooms. This has a great big glazed panel through to the outdoor shower area as well. There's really no excuse for being grubby in this house. Lots of bathrooms. And if you are a bit shy, there's a curtain here that you can pull across. We've just come up the stairs from the courtyard. We're on the roof. This is the seventh bedroom. Um, I don't think it's automatically the top bedroom. That ground floor one we showed you earlier on is the chosen master bedroom for the current owners, but this is a great suite up here. That's the main reason why it stands out. I mean, look at that view. The beautiful scene today with a couple of yachts just cruising across, lovely, flat, calm sea. And in the summer, don't forget, the sun sets there. It's achingly beautiful. This is a good sized double room. We've got the ensuite, it's got air conditioning. And you know what, just spin around again, Tim. There's a nice sunbathing area up here as well. Okay, we're in the far bottom corner of the garden now. We've got the original well here. Um, it's a nice visual feature. It's still actually the functional well for the property. And then this new structure for this year. Follow me in here, Tim. It's not set out yet, because obviously we're just approaching the season. But it's a really nice, big structure. The idea was to have this set up as a gym and an exercise area. We've got the PowerPoints, we've got the lighting, we've got the internet connection. Um, at, at the moment, the table's going to stay here, but I believe there's some gym equipment that's going to be fitted in and set up for when you're ready to rent. Okay, a quick summary. Here we are, Villa Sea Breeze. We're in the southwest of the island, beautiful views of Esvedra. We've got seven bedroom suites, six obviously for guests, and then one for the nanny. We've got um, a modern villa, which is using a nice fusion of traditional materials, but the latest interior design styles and techniques, all the luxury you require, beautiful infinity pool, big terracing area, big open plan living area, and that gorgeous central courtyard. Thank you.